going on everybody welcome back droidlife.com so today we're going to show you just a walkthrough of froyo on the droid x you know it looks looks just the same as the droid x old crappy blur skin used to but it's pretty sure this is probably you know the same version that's on the droid 2 should be right there's basically the same phone just one's a little smaller and has a keyboard so anyway this is leaked out today as an update.zip meaning anybody can install this thing uh, both rooted and non-rooted users uh, from my droid world uh, so you guys can pick that up at our site droid-life.com if you want to update it right now um, but as you can see yeah same crappy blur skin I still got that weird launcher thing going on down there you know all your same widgets are still on there um, we'll dive into this more later, but we really just wanted to give you a quick overview and just kind of show you what it looks like. Um, about phone, let's show you this. Everyone always cares about the about screen. Droid X 2.2, new baseband, kernel, all that good stuff. Oh, let me show you the lock screen too. Lock screen will look familiar. It's that same lock screen we saw on the Droid 2 that we showed you with that hands-on video. Um, looks like the clock up here has also been centered. It used to be off to the left a little bit. So, um, yeah, lock screen is definitely new and changed. Um, there's not a whole lot of new stuff. I mean, we've seen Froyo on the Droid. We've seen it on, you know, a lot of uh, other devices. So you guys kind of know what Froyo is like. Uh, let me show you application menu. There's a goodie, goodie tucked in here I wasn't I wasn't ready for when I initially looked at this. Um, you can see we got the uh, tabbed menu for SD card storage of apps. And you'll see that first one right there, Adobe Flash Player 10.1. So now I'm starting to think this might be the official 2.2. And it's just been leaked out a little bit early. So who knows, maybe this will be pushed over the air to you know, other people that aren't willing to take this risk. But you can see right there, Adobe Flash built in. That came with the update. I didn't install that. That was just there already. Um, you can see we can move apps to the SD card if we want to. I have none on there because I just flashed this thing. So um, let's see. What other goodies do we have on here? Um, the uh, battery manager now has the uh, battery meter up there. Um, you know, basically like your Gmail is going to have, you know, the tab so you can switch accounts really quickly. Um, you're going to have, actually, let's see here. I doubt the gallery or any of that stuff changed. It's all going to be the same. So we can pull that up. It's not going to be the 3D gallery like you get on stock for you. Actually, that's kind of cool. They did change the gallery a little bit. It looks like they've actually shown you folders rather than that list, which was pretty awful at navigating pictures. So that's cool. So that's an update. Got to like that new, uh, yeah, new gallery going on there. That's cool. Um, like I said, we'll dive into this more hopefully later. Um, you can see all the bloatware is still loaded on there, unfortunately. Just looking for any new goodies on here. Check out the car dock, I'm sure it's the same. Yep, car dock is the same. Although it says close now, I think that used to say exit. Anyway, minor detail. Uh, let's check out the camera, let's see if the software on that's updated at all. I believe it should update. Yep, and it did. It did change a little bit. It's now the Droid 2, it's got that little flip switch there, you see that? So now you have an on-screen button. So let's switch to camera. So now you have an on-screen button that you can take pictures with rather than just the red button up there. So that's huge because that red button was such a pain. So nice work Motorola and whoever updated this thing. That's a nice camera button there. Let's just tap that and take a picture. Hopefully that adds to the uh, quality of everything. But yeah, so gallery and camera both updated. Gotta love seeing that. Let's see what else we got going on in here. Sorry, we're doing this all at once. I just got this on here. Wanted to get you guys a video so you can see if it's worth it or not. So far, it looks to be worth it. This looks about as legit as it's going to get. Um, my accounts, navigation, probably all the same. Need for speed shift. Yeah, no thanks. Bloatware, people, a lot of it on here. Uh, not a lot of other differences, just offhand. Like I said, you will have all of the... Uh, oh, VZ Navigator. We knew that was coming loaded on there. Don't use that. Just use your... Google navigation. So anyway, that's pretty much uh, just a quick walkthrough. I just wanted to give you guys a look. Actually, I know you guys are probably dying to see uh, benchmarks on here. I did download the benchmark apps. Can't forget that. Um, first round was not so hot. Let's just see what we get doing it now that the phone's warmed up a little bit here. Linpack score. Remember the Nexus one when I got 2.2, its flops were like in the 40s. Only getting 14. I don't know if it's uh, Texas Instruments processors or what versus Qualcomm, you know, Snapdragon's on all the HTC devices and they get crazy envelopes on 2.2 and anything with the Texas Instruments processor like the Droid 1 all that stuff, you get just no envelopes whatsoever. Look, there we got 6.3. So maybe this test is just not really built for the uh, Droid X or any Texas Instruments processor whatsoever. 
14 that's about as high as I can get so that doesn't necessarily mean this phone's slow by any means okay this phone is really really fast and I'm sure you want to see quadrant as well <clears throat> first time I ran this look at that quadrant was awful so let's hope we can improve that now now that we're uh, fully up and running here we're just gonna let that load set it down so yeah you can grab this on our blog droid-life.com simple update.zip all you got to do is download the file drop it on your SD card meaning do not put it in any folder or anything like that just set the file straight on your SD card don't rename it or anything it's already update.zip just drop it on there turn your phone off and uh, boot into recovery by holding home and power at the same time once the Motorola logo pops up, you can release the power button. Continue to hold home, though, until you get that exclamation mark with the triangle. Once you get that, you can release the home button. And after that, all you need to do is uh, press the search button, and you will get a menu. And use the rocker switch, volume switch down, till you get to apply up SD card update.zip. Click in your camera button to select that, and it'll load, your, load the file. And once it reboots, it will have uh, Android 2.2 in your Droid X pretty sweet so far I must say um, okay here we go benchmark is done let's see what we get there we go that's what we're talking about there is a beastie benchmark once the phone warms up a little bit it really gets rolling and it shows the uh, power of it so anyway uh, yeah we'll go into flash maybe in another video because this video has already been pretty long so anyway droid-life.com get the Android 2.2 update courtesy of my droid world and uh, we're out peace